Yo, guess what we got? Did we film ourselves going there? No, I didn't. Doesn't matter, because we got some nice memes. First of all, I would like to announce that we fixed the problem that we had. We fixed the problem that we had. I got the wrong over fenders, but now we have the right one. While we were there, we're like, we should pick up a new hood while we're there. So we picked up this brand new S13 hood, and we got our new over fenders, and we had the rear bumper. So in the next couple of days, this is finally gonna start coming together. We wanna just do a quick little check to make sure this is the correct rear pieces, Cal. So I will laugh if it's not. Baby. Oh, we're probably gonna need to cut that wing off now. Oh, you can't mock it because we have this wing. Here. Oh, no. Here. Oh, wait, wait. I can, here, slip under. Oh, oh nice. Boy. Look at yeah. that. Look at that, dude. That's gonna be easy. Oh, boy. Oh, and it covers it. Good damn, Calvin. I didn't know you were hot. <laughs> boy. That's actually a lot. That's much more than I thought it was gonna be. I like how it has an R32 pump. Yeah, that's actually pretty nice. How it like, it like fits in there. Yeah, really it, nice. I'm impressed. Yo, you should do- Duraflex, good on ya. Gas door thing like I have with the magnets. Yeah, maybe. You show, me, show me how to do yeah. that. Yeah. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, we can, we can work with that. Black, black, the door. <laughs> This baby's about to be done. Damn. That's right, wide body everything. Where you at, Beckerman? It's Christmas time. It's not Christmas yet. Just about, Christmas. just about. Christmas time is here. Oh, there's some sanding on that. <laughs> Expose me, Teej. Oh, oh, look at all those vents. That's for cooling my SR20, baby. Oh, that hood's so cool. It's yeah, so hood. dope. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's like this is what I like to see. I think this is the first hood cut that we've done that's not carbon fiber. I mean, I. You didn't want the carbon fiber hood. I did. I didn't. No. When this car is wrapped, it's you don't just gonna like get the yeah. carbon. No, nah, it's fine. No, I don't like the carbon. So we opted for the cheaper option, which is the carb, which is just the fiberglass one. But look at it. It looks so good, baby. The reason we're replacing the hood is because this hood weighs a hundred pounds. Like honestly, probably close to like forty or fifty pounds. It is not light at all. And that is a significant upgrade. Just for those memes, I like it. Oh, I'll give her a little, s use your legs, Teach. Use your legs, Teach. Ah, new hoods are simple. Literally, four bolts. Take out one, two, take out one, two. Get a couple guys, lift this 200 pound hood off, and then put the new one on. I'm curious to see if it's gonna line up. Well, it should. <laughs> it should. Tighten it rather than I mean, it's gonna be heavy, but oh, 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 I'm free. Slips, okay. Oh, he still has a hood problem. Oh, okay. I should just run without a hood. One thing we gotta do, Kyle, is get this all the same color. Looks like confetti cake in there. Now that we're bolting the hood on the car, we need to make sure that the hood is actually centered. There is a little bit of play on both sides, so we're gonna leave the bolts just a little bit loose, lower the hood, and see if the lines and the fenders and the hood are equal on both sides. Once we figure out exactly what is center, then we will do the hard bolting, and then we're gonna see if we need to do any modification to the hood latch. A lot of times with aftermarket hoods, you need to kind of adjust them just a little bit or reinforce them, or in some cases, not even use it at all and just run some hood pins. So after we figure out the alignment, we're gonna figure out if we need hood pins or is this latch good enough for what we want. All right, my side's not all the way down, so just lower it gently and we'll see how she looks. Watch the headlight fitment. Okay, it's pretty good. This side may be a little bit closer, but if I remember correctly too, we had a wider gap on this front fender than we did on the right fender. Holy moly, your car is kitted in the front, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the same car, baby. Oh, it's, a high. it's in. It's a little high. It's a little it's high. Better. That's better on that side. Dude, it's really good. Nah, it's a little closer on that side, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Can I'm you gonna, check the like zoom out version? Look at how different this car looks right now. Yeah. From a week ago. That's crazy. It looks fucking it looks sweet, like dude. 
It kind of does. Too bad Calvin won't drift it. Comment down below. Calvin should drift to 240. Now the only thing bad about the car is this ugly like matte black version. But when we take this thing down to premium auto sign later this week, we're going to do a week turnaround. Calvin's going to have the most hot boy 240 on YouTube. There's a little play, but I don't like it. But hood pins, I'm, I've always wanted to do hood pins, never had a car to do it on. TJ refuses to do them. I don't like hood pins, lost a summer race I'm car. I'm doing it. Overall, fitment of the hood is pretty good. I need to do some sanding work, and I need to clean some stuff up, obviously. That's very expected when dealing with fiberglass stuff, but like I keep saying, the moment this car is wrapped and actually has some color on it, it's really gonna wake up the car, and it's gonna make it look much, much different. Kind of like the RX-7, when it was originally kind of green and all dented and stuff, it was kind of hard to see the final picture, but once you do all the right small steps before playing the big step which in our case is going to be changing the color everything comes together so so well don't tell calvin this but i kind of want you guys to help pick the color of this car i know we don't want to do anything too wild like this s2000 but comment down below what color you think we should wrap this car we're obviously not going to do anything super super crazy like that like i mentioned or like weird crazy chrome colors but like yellow green orange red comment them down below because i want to see what you guys have to say and i'll do my best to help out hey, what you talking down here you saying something no. Is he saying something out here? No? Mm -mm. I'm gonna take out this trash and hopefully you don't say more shit about me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pole. Did you <laughs> actually Dude, was, run into the pole? Into you pole. did run into that no, pole. You just no, kissed no, that no, pole. No, I went like this, I turned and I was like, oh shit. You pole. just kissed I that pole. Kiss you look like I'm an idiot. I'm gonna take out this trash. Don't talk any more shit, dude. Our Cyber Monday sale is still going on right now. If you want anything on sale, car parts, link is down below. Hit me up, baby. It may say throttle, but it means Calvin. Cyber Monday is all week, baby. Take advantage. On that note, I'm going home. I am doing a like family dinner thing with Sabrina's family. And for that reason, sorry, leaving a little bit early today. Cyber it's the holidays, Monday. baby. Spending time with Cyber Monday sale still going on, baby. <laughs> That's why you have headaches, Calv. That, that's why you develop headaches all the time. I just got back from dinner with Sprinter's family and before I end this vlog off, I thought I would hit you guys with a little bit of a Q&A because I haven't done that in quite a while. And as you can see, the game is already fired up. It's late, but I don't care. I'm losing sleep. Calvin's streaming. Subscribe to his Twitch if you haven't already. I'll, I'll link it down below. But before I end this night off, I asked you guys on my Snapchat, which I uh, don't use nearly as much as I should, but I asked you guys hit me with the questions and let's just answer a few before we say goodbye. First question is from Ben Calkins. It says, how does one become a doctor? That is something that just happened. That's not necessarily something that you can control or influence. It just kind of happens. Maxi Boy 5 asks, I was trying to think of something different you need to ask you that would stand out from the rest and I come up with this. Next question. Tyler asks, how many memes does it take to the... Fuck, you guys are just asking me meme questions. Oscar760 says, what's going to happen to your old supercharger? Uh, is it friendly to the BRZ? I don't know. Sigma much is giving it away. Jay asks, what are the odds of you opening this? Well, pretty high. GPAT19 asks, when are you going to marry Sabrina? Plot twist, we're already married. This one is from Chase. He asks, would you ever consider buying an older diesel truck and building it? Uh, not really. I haven't never really thought about it. Uh, probably not. Are you going to do a two-step battle with the Black Widow Supra? Maybe. Everyone always wants us to do that, and we always joke around online about it. But here's the thing. Getting a two-rotor, which is literally 1.3 liters, versus an n line six with a big turbo. Like, you can't really beat it with a rotary. Like, you can get pretty close, and I could argue that maybe mine is just as good as that, but you can't really get anything better. If anything, I would do a 2J versus 2J two-step, but at that point, our builds are pretty much the same thing. So it's just a matter of who has a better tune, but maybe, I don't know. That dude, JB4, asks, ATJ, love all the cars and the bits. Keep up the good work. Is Mickey gonna make a YouTube channel? Mickey's YouTube channel is pretty much just throttle, so if you wanna watch more of Mickey, just watch throttle. Next question, will you fix the fitment on the RX-7 because the T Ears are weak. Y'all just don't have the same fitment perspective as I do. I think it's great the way it is. Steven asks, doubt you'll see this, but just showing you some scam email. A lot of you guys have been asking about this. Am I the owner of the person who's doing like hunting company mystery boxes? No, that's not me. If you ever want to support our brand and us, it's thehuntingcompany.com and that is it. If you ever go to any other website other than thehuntingcompany.com, that is not me and I have no association with that website. I'm going to find a video question and we'll see if it's any good. Any leaks for your Guys, next move. Think something that we already have, but newer. That's the only hint I'll give. What's a good first car to start drifting? 350Z. Easy. When are you going to get 
to the V8 game. I don't know. I like almost wanted a Mustang and it almost happened, but I can never really say. TJ, do you have any plans on moving to a house or moving out of an apartment anytime soon? Boy, I just bought a house. Where you been at? All right, well, that's probably where I'm going to end it tonight. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Do not forget, December 1st, we are gonna have the winter collection of Hunt Company go live, and it is gonna be so mad and crazy. I'm really looking forward to it. Getting the reactions of you guys getting the new stuff is one of the things that makes me like most happy in this, that makes me the most happiest in the world. It like keeps me up at night thinking about it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Peace out and keep moving forward. And I'm feeling